Newcastle, second city of New South Wales, sixth largest in Australia. A city that's grown to be of great industrial and commercial significance. But has Newcastle developed a spirit that gives its people a feeling of belonging, a sense of pride in their city? In recent years, there has been an increasing diversification of industry, employment and residential growth, all complementing each other to make Newcastle a most desirable urban environment. Developing with Newcastle is an intangible quality that makes the city desirable. It's soul. A city's soul isn't defined by any single quality, but by an accumulation of natural features, atmosphere, and the pride of its citizens. Where, then, is the soul of this city? A significant contribution to the city is its industrial importance emphasized by the large number employed in the many secondary industries. significant and the backbone of the city's employment is the giant Newcastle Steelworks. The works, when opened in 1915, signalled the beginning of a growth that has moulded the character of the city and most of its residents.
The steelworks also supply many of the materials for another substantial Newcastle industry, the State Dockyard. is best known for its heavy industries, although our city also offers a wide range of cultural and intellectual facilities. The academic life of Newcastle is spread through various modern educational establishments. Here develops a balance to the city's industrial image. Not only does Newcastle pride itself with the title University City, it also caters for the advanced and technical education of its residents. The cultural centre provides an important aesthetic basis from which the many cultural arts are projected. Linked by gardens and lawns to the City Hall, where an active council plans the growth and development of this progressive city. beauty, the many parks and gardens present a contrast to the industrial and commercial centres. The Novocastrian is provided with a wide array of natural leisure time facilities.
but uh, I'm proud of it. I know a lot of people think it's uh, just a steel works and coal mines and that. Dirty old place to live in, but all it supplies me my livelihood and that. And I suppose I'm naturally, uh, like any person, proud of his own town. Oh, I like it. Yeah, it's not that bad, really. An atmosphere of friendship exists among many sports available and the city is well known for the warmth extended to its many visitors. Castle Kid near the inside got away. Well, okay, Sarah bucked out and lost about 25 lengths. Can't get out as Tinamu just in front. Help our girl right down the extreme outside as going out after Tinamu, but Tinamu is far too good now. He's waiting. Help our girl lunges at him too late. Tinamu first, help our girl second, Hexham third. Never got a run out. The spirit of outdoor fun appears to outweigh that of competition in the city's annual street foot race, the Newcastle Fun Run. City of coal mines and uh, uh, steel works, but uh, out of town it gets away from that type of thing, and it's uh, quite a beautiful place once you get around from the smoke areas. attitude towards conservation of the environment is well displayed through the preservation of bushland and parks. Located amid the bustling city is this proud example of a natural reserve. Some of the soul of this city will be preserved for future generations by the concern of the people for the natural environment around them. large contribution to the development of the city is made by the mass media. Besides the city's radio stations, a daily newspaper and commercial television station provide a broad news coverage. Australia's oldest missionary organisation, the British and Foreign Bible Society, has changed its name. After 159 years' work in Australia, the group will now be known simply as the Bible Society. Uh, we're in for another fine day for tomorrow for Newcastle after a cold start, particularly in the western suburbs. They may possibly get some frost, but we'll see the sun again tomorrow, and we trust for you a very pleasant day.
Newcastle, like other great cities, needs a festival to show others its cultural and social activities and to display the city to its best advantage. The Matara Festival does this and through its symbol, the warm hand of friendship, has become an integral part of the city's annual activities. Besides the many sideshows and rides, the rural, domestic and commercial growth of the area is presented at the annual Newcastle Show. Surely the warmth and friendship demonstrated by the people of Newcastle bears proof of the existence of the city's soul. Well, it's a hard question to answer off the cuff. I suppose it really depends what you, you define as a soul, um, wherever it has. Well, I suppose you define souls having grass roots for people, so their grandparents, um, their heritage, people born and bred here. In that respect, it has a soul. Definitely, they have a cell, yes, yes. Newcastle has a cell. Yes, somewhere, in the people. In the people? Yes, people make Newcastle, really. It must have more than a conglomeration of machines, buildings and human robots. It must have life and warmth and friendship. And we have all those things. Yes, Newcastle has a soul. 